What's up, Brandon Phantom? How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, today we're about to get into a video from Rap Zone um, called Captain America vs. the TVA. Um, <laughs> really curious about this since uh, kind of switching it out from Loki to Captain America. Um, and I know the Warp Zone is uh, a pretty hilarious channel, so uh, this ought to be really, really entertaining. So uh, let's get into the video and we'll have my more official thoughts about it afterwards. You sucked Hitler in the jaw over 200 times. You should be able to bludgeon baby Hitler with a magic hammer. One time. Oh, boy. This is a lot easier when he had the mustache. Okay, here we go. One, two. Steve Rogers, on behalf of the Time Variance Authority, I place you under arrest for crimes against the sacred timeline. I'm sorry, you're with the what now? Take him in for processing. Wait, you got that parking ticket, I swear. Phew. Thought they'd never leave. <laughs> you are hereby charged with sequence violation 7654. How do you plead? I'm sorry, ma'am, that was quite a few numbers you rattled off there. Um, what's going on? You almost caused a Nexus event by trying to kill Hitler before his scheduled death. So, per TVA procedure, you will be tried, and if found guilty, you will be pruned, along with the variant timeline. So if I'm found guilty, I'm... Erased from existence. <laughs> oh, very fun. Uh, just by chance, has anyone ever been found innocent? Mm, no, <laughs> never. Interesting. Well, at the risk of jeopardizing my own existence, wouldn't it make more sense to just erase the entire timeline immediately instead of wasting a bunch of time and manpower hauling people in here for a mock trial? <laughs> Seems incredibly inefficient and kind of dumb. <laughs> well, Captain Rogers, I don't make the rules. I just enforce the will of the timekeepers. Ah, yes, the three dudes from the... Uh, Moving picture with the, yeah, uh, ropes. They are far more than that. The timekeepers are all-knowing, benevolent beings who protect and preserve the sacred timeline for all life in the universe. Okay, uh, sure. Sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. So, the beings who control the flow of time were cool with us hopscotching around the past to collect the Infinity Stones and defeat Thanos in order to save a ton of lives, but they're not cool with me going to the past and killing an admittedly adorable baby Hitler in order to save a ton of lives. Precisely. See, when you met <laughs> with Thanos, you returned all of the stones, thereby closing off all the variant timelines. Well, except for one, which we are dealing with. But if you were to kill Hitler as a baby, you would be creating an entirely new timeline well outside the boundaries of the sacred timeline. Okay. Well... How about a compromise? I'll go back and get all the Infinity Stones, and then use the gauntlet to bring back everyone Hitler killed in the present. Boom! Everybody wins. Except, you know, Hitler. Look, Captain Rogers. As tragic as it is, Hitler's rise to power and subsequent atrocities are meant to happen. They're written into the sacred time, <laughs> as decreed by the timekeepers. Thanos winning, on the other hand, was not. Which is why the timekeepers allowed the Avengers to travel through time. If that's the case, then why didn't the timekeepers and all of their wisdom and power just erase all the timelines where Thanos collects the stones and use the one where he doesn't instead? It would save us a lot of trouble and Hawkeye a terrible haircut. <laughs> By the way, this timeline is so sacred and perfect that how can the timekeepers allow something like the Holocaust to happen in the first place if they could change it with relative ease? And how come certain things are allowed to be changed but others are locked in time? None of this sounds like the will of wise, benevolent beings. It sounds like the whims of a madman or a conqueror or something. Well, uh, you know, the timekeepers work in mysterious ways. <laughs> mysterious mind by proxy America's ass. Okay, that's enough. Look, I may not know the intricacies of the timekeepers' plans, but it doesn't matter because I don't need to know. And I don't because while the inner workings of the timekeepers are still a mystery, 
Their goal is crystal clear. Stop the multiverse from existing so that we can prevent the multiversal war. As long as Nexus events are proved and there is a single sacred timeline, the multiverse can never exist. Um, except the multiverse definitely does exist. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, it totally exists. My recent work acquaintance, Doctor Strange and his buddies, draw their magical energy from the multiverse. They have these <laughs> magical powers, which, believe me, they do. It means the multiverse has to exist. If the multiverse does exist on this supposedly sacred timeline, that means that the TVA fails. Maybe you haven't failed yet. I'm guessing time works a little differently here or something, but at some point on your timeline, <laughs> the multiverse will be created. That means that there was nothing that you could, or more importantly, did do to prevent it. And if the TVA is a failure, then this whole endeavor is entirely pointless. All you're doing is jumping around through time, committing insane, random acts of cruelty for absolutely no reason. Uh, oh. <laughs> F language. But, yeah. Okay, uh... Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you very much for your insights, Captain Rogers. You have given the court lots of things to deliberate on. But in the interest of time, as we have another upcoming Logi variant trial scheduled, I've decided to throw out your case. Oh, goody. So I can kill Hitler then? Well, no, you cannot kill Hitler. And you know too much to be sent back to your present. So I propose we send you back to the 40s so you can live out the rest of your natural existence with your beloved Peggy Carter. Well, you lost me with the can't kill Hitler part, but then you turned it around in the end with the whole Peggy bit, so I accept. Just be sure not to create any other Nexus events. Absolutely. I promise oh, you will no. not see nor hear from me again. <laughs> unless Disney needs a little box office boost. I mean, uh, unless the Avengers need my help. God, I hate Mondays. Uh, technically, it's both always and never Monday. Oh, Here's shut the f*** up, Carl. <laughs> hey, everyone. Thanks uh, we want to give a big shout-out to Green Chef. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> that is really, really hilarious. <laughs> like... It's like back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, it, it is an interesting thing where they talk about time travel. Like, it, that is a bit of a messy thing to deal with. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they did make quite a few great points. They they really, really did. Man. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't watch the, uh, Warp Zone uh, often, but when they have a video that comes that interests me, like they have some very good videos, and this is probably one of their best videos that I've seen. Like they, yeah, like they make so many great points about you know, like talking about time travel and like being like, hey, you know, <laughs> you know, it is a bit of a mess with uh, the, you know. Hitler and, you know, you know, all those events that, like, lead up to the future and whatever, and, oh, man, <laughs> that was hilarious with Deadpool, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, Captain America, one of my favorite characters in the MCU, if not my top favorite character, but yeah, <laughs> so yeah, anyways, guys, that was my reaction to the Captain America versus the TVA video, I um, just want to say to those who are new here, you can go ahead and check out my channel for other reactions like this, um, top 10s, movie reviews, and a bunch of other film-related content. If you are a returning subscriber, I really appreciate you. If you are new to subscribing, please do not forget to click the bell to get notified of future videos. Um, I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me over there. I give early access to videos and all that kind of stuff. Um, I also have a uh, Twitter where you can follow me. I give updates to the vid as well as me talk about my favorite movie news. And I have a Discord that you can join and interact with me and a bunch of other people. So, just want to say one last time, I appreciate you all. Stay random.